the top of that tower. out of me fishing rig. But now they're gobbling up me catch! No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set. If you can catch 200 pounds of them critters, and now let you with shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. <laughs> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Here comes a big one. Steady, boy. Thank you. 
Jumbo Lady!
the precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us!
collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Hey, let's go check out old fish breath speedboat at the dock. is getting worse. Find the fisherman in the jungle, get permission to use his boat, and get over to Misty Island to stop the cannon. And you, Dexter, you need to get mopping. This place is a mess. Trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fires! Oh, man. 
Make it back! and 
Shredder! The lurkers, Jack. Not the mines! Rule number one, always avoid the mines!
choice. Let's keep you out of the ooze, okay?
have to admit, I'm impressed. You two didn't screw up. Now that the lurkers can't open that silo, they can't flood the world with dark eco and cause untold destruction. Wipe that ridiculous grin off your face, Daxter. The two of you have plenty to do. Get on with it. I'm waiting at the head of Fire Canyon, at the top of the cliff behind the farmer's house. Oh, the muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. Great! You have the 
20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! sensation. Hey, it looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my, Rock Village is on fire. One heck of a party. No, no, I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders. Oh, and it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're going to need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, then come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. <laughs> Aren't there a lot of, uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not! Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. Of particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer to the nearest transpad. 
drive the Zoomer to a green eco vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here, and don't forget the corners. Ice. 